we are back and we are back to play notorious uh, notorious the uh, sci-fi tabletop role-playing game for one player it can be played as a short one-shot adventure or as a series of anthology stories we'll just do it as a one-shot so we have had Tulu. Tulu has done quite well uh, Tulu has how long how many times did Tulu go down maybe twice definitely once to Duncan on the bridge where she rolled off that was where Tulu rolled off uh, that was definite uh, I can't remember any time anyway uh, uh, Tulu was was defeated by Duncan uh, who is the second lead uh, and according to these notes had just been stopped by a bike patrol and Tulu needs to explore a bit more to boost up uh, their motivation uh, their notoriety is at six at the moment uh, favor at six uh, oh they had they met the elder uh, who gave them the uh, uh, Bob the fish uh, from uh, Ben and Holly scout armor so Tulu is slightly equipped to confront Duncan Duncan is just the second lead we haven't even confronted uh, our target yet because Duncan is after the target as well Duncan has also been given the contract for the target so we will uh, we will explore a bit and see if we can uh, get things going for Tulu. So we will, we need to see the dice rolls. Let's do some exploration. So Tulu is, Tulu's gonna explore. So we're on the aquatic island, the aquatic planet of Veltari and we're exploring. So there's lots of uh, floating platforms uh, there. So kind of like uh, uh, oil oil platforms, oil rigs, but they they people basically live on them. There's uh, there's actually because there's some tribes who only live out uh, on water. They're born, they live, they die, never coming onto land. Just on these uh, floating house platforms, and they go out and they fish and various other things. So I I assume because whenever I've seen, I think it was on Top Gear, uh, they they drink canned beer. So I assume people come to them. Uh, Anyway, let's go exploring through the boat. Maybe we'll go to another. Maybe we'll move over to the kimono barge crawler. So the barge crawler, uh, which uh, 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 trawls the oceans of Vatari, has come and docked with Giloth, uh, the floating city of Giloth. Uh, and so uh, Tulu will get passage aboard there. It's huge. It's gigantic. It's like the the, the biggest cruiser you could imagine, but bigger. Uh, so Tulu will go aboard that uh, to ask some questions and see if Tulu can get some resources and find out some information about Duncan and about what's going on to possibly get an edge to then confront Duncan. So I'm thinking we need at least two more motivation to then go and confront Duncan and try and catch Duncan uh, in a melee combat and not at range because Duncan go, does best at range. So we will explore the uh, barge crawler, Kamano. Five. Notoriety is three or higher. It is, but we don't want uh, to encounter the lead just yet. So we will do an explore. Purples being the table, clear being the entry. So table four, entry three, two, oh. So these, these hostile scouts, these scouts are on, what did I write here? Next time plus one uh, for their, so they're obviously doing a bit of a tour uh, and they are also on board here, but th though it says they're on their bikes, we won't have them on the bikes. There's, I don't think we'll be able to actually fight them on bike. It doesn't make sense on the cruiser that they're 
on their bikes, but they're doing a patrol and they both come up to Tulu this time to confront Tulu. Uh, they are going to get a plus one, so they get a plus two to their. I tell you what, we'll roll this because if they if it's one to four, so one, so they they have body armor on because that would have been their bikes. They have body armor on. There's two of them, and they come up to Tulu, and there's their. Uh, both of them are really getting up into Tulu's face. Uh, and they're being threatening to Tulu. So they, they they still have this edge of nervousness to them because Tulu has such uh, notoriety uh, on uh, Vatari, the planet, at the moment, even on all the, all the subparts. But they're bastard. So let's make it, they got, so I said on there one to plus one. Let's go one to three is plus one. Four, five, six is plus two. Four, five, six. So because they're both together, they're feeling really, their bravado is up. Uh, there. So in my mind's eye, I have them wearing the uh, Endorian uh, uh, speeder bike outfits, you know, with the peaked bits. So we can't see their face and they're talking through. They have uh, breathing, breathing masks. So we don't know. Uh, maybe they are an aquatic uh, race. So they have uh, a breathing uh, aid, which is why they're wearing complete facial masks. Uh, their batons are in hand. They're doing the whole really, really giving it massively. Uh, so they're going to get a plus two. So they get a plus three to this, and I have a plus three to this. So this might end up being a fight. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, I edge out by one point. Uh, even then, so they're really pushing in the chest. And so uh, Tulu. Uh, pushes one back who tumbles backwards the other one looks like he's going to start something and at that moment there's a little scuffle down the corridor and, and if you can imagine it through if i had batteries in that uh clone trooper helmet i could use that to do a nice uh electronic voice we'll be back don't move from this spot and they he the other one sort of gets to his knees uh, and shakes, shakes his head a bit and then they both dash off down the corridor to deal with the, the fight that's starting down there and Tulu just rolls off the wall and, and wanders off around the corner let's see where Tulu what destination Tulu Tulu goes uh, into a, 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 a turns a corner that they haven't turned before and they walk into what do they walk into uh, Tulu walks in two so it says bustling market well this is the scrap crawl up so maybe there's a small stall uh with quite a few people hanging around it uh oh uh and the stall is selling good luck charms uh and small little vials of of uh, uh magic potion uh so Tulu is going to pick one up and get uh, a plus one motivation so a few lucky charms because Tulu, Tulu is one for charms and clips them onto their belt with the teeth. So I'm going to put plus charm. So a few uh, fish based lucky charms have been connected onto Tulu's belt uh, to aid and to, to give them additional uh, boost. So let's see uh, how much. How many more until the end of the day explores can we get four we can get four more explores until the end of the day and then we need to confront duncan we have no choice uh i suppose if we do it uh, i tell you what if we do it at three if we give up on the third one then we can we can do a roll to see if we can catch them ambush them uh if we wait to the fourth because we don't feel we've got enough then they will ambush us uh, unless we do want to uh, oh unless on that third one we don't get to roll encounter duncan so we start to explore again after spending some time with this trader four uh yes okay same exploration table purples and clears so three and one Table three, number one. You see smoke rising on the horizon and discover a burning building. The tracks outside suggest the residents left in a hurry. Uh, 
All right, let's roll. So this would then, so this won't be, uh, this will be whilst wandering around, we go into a residential part of the massive barge two. Oh, we're going to lose the motivation. Uh, there, so we see a, uh, like a little apartment. It's gutted with fire. Uh, and there's there's a, a the that we can see that there's all clothes and things strewn all over the place uh, in the front all as though uh, the residents left in quite a hurry and we oh, okay it says, it says why do the flames remind you of your trigger what was what's our trigger oh lost the jewel yeah i think it would more it would remind us of our origins and the planet being at war and so we lose one motivation because uh, seeing all the personal, <laughs> oh, you know, there's the clack. There used to be, uh, I think it was in the 80s, a, 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 t a sitcom TV series, English, of course, uh, called Drop the Dead Donkey, which was about a tabloid, tabloid journalists uh, producing a tabloid newspaper. And there was a, a, a photojournalist who, whenever he would go to a war torn place or a crash or anything, he would take. <laughs> A special burnt teddy bear that was his own and he would just lay it there to take photos uh, but there is a little burnt teddy bear uh, outside just leaning against the door frame but upside down as though it's been dropped in a hurry which uh, makes Tulu sad as they remember the, all of the children who lost their lives and at the war cross cross oh gosh we're gonna have to fight him at, at range aren't we uh, so after we see this uh, where do we then we wander uh, aimlessly and we end up oh we end up at, at a fortified base so we need to resolve both so we end up at a small uh, at, at the barracks uh, for let's say so who does it say for controlling faction the mystic order barracks uh, so it's like the Jedi Temple uh, and we go in to have a chat so it says gain one notoriety uh, can we go in to talk to them uh, then we have the hostile guard approaches us as we as we're entering uh, we will attempt to uh, tell the guard to shut up I think this is a foregone conclusion but you never know I might roll badly uh, the guard has a plus one uh, we have a plus rounded up is a plus four. Uh, oh, oh no, it's still one. So that's a seven, four, five, six, seven. All right. I, I think he's going to fight us. The hostile starts to fight with you. Resolve the attack reaction and add plus one to the challenge eye for the first roll. Okay. So he won't back down. He gets a bit shirty. He's a plus two. We are a plus four. Uh, he has no heart, so one hit and he's out. Uh, but he gets a plus one, so he's plus three to start off with. Oh, we're going to have to burn our notoriety. Mind you, we've got the heart. Oh, sorry, our motivation. Uh, so he uh, attempts to arrest us, uh, basically take us in and put down and question us. Uh, and Tulu is adamant that Tulu isn't coming, and so Tulu gets into a a physical skirm, uh, a fracar, a fracar with the guard, uh, who again is wearing, uh, but this would be more like the Death Troopers. So I'm, I'm visualising these guards as wearing maybe purple armour actually. So they've, they've got, this guard has black armor with a purple flush on the shoulder to show that he is uh, a, a security guard, a door guard. Uh, he attempts to get his stun baton out and give uh, Tulu a, a whack and Tulu responds by flipping uh, her power hammer down and basically trying to uh, do for the guard. Uh, oh, I think we might be up here. Uh, the guard has a plus two with the one with a plus three making five. We have a five plus a four making nine. Uh, we hear a uh, a dull crack as the suit on the guard's leg splits open and uh, its leg uh, buckles from underneath it. 
uh, and it falls to the floor uh, groaning. Uh, Tolu uh, takes uh, the guard under the armpits and drags the guard into the uh, his little uh, guard post, dumps him down and then wanders into the temple to discover two things. Uh, a two and a six. Table two, number six. An unaffiliated mercenary or rebellious civilian being intimidated by a hostile soldier or guard who is plus two, plus heart. Roll a die. Three. Something about the scene sets off your trigger and you walk away. What building or statue were you defacing and what did the graffiti depict? Okay, so we just turn our back on on because th this reminds us of uh, when the uh, invaders were coming and we were scrolling uh, <laughs> Humi's go home uh, and we were basically we were caught by uh, a, a Murian uh, guard who sent us away just the same as this is uh, uh, with this soldier is basically chastising this rebellious civilian who's coming to complain about the mystic order. One on one. Some, local, some locals enthusiastically direct you to a nearby scrap vendor or beast herder. You wonder if they're mocking you. Okay, let's go. And then the next bit is a five. Oh, okay. All right, so there's so we so uh, one of the people visiting the Mystic Order is is a, a dolphin trainer, uh, and the dolphin trainer is in a queue and looks quite interesting and notices notices our uh, Bob the Fish Scout shirt and says, "Hello, is that there a Bob? Is that a scale of the great Bob?" Oh my lovey, oh hello, my lover, is that there, is that there, uh, my lover, is that a, a scout, oh I could try, I'll try live Liverpudlian, I'm writing, right they like, is that Bob like, really need to practice my, so let's, let's try and, uh, let's try and recruit this, this uh, dolphin, <laughs> dolphin trainer, who uh, has, uh, a bizarre accent. Maybe it's because I'm tired. Uh, so my favour is six. Half rounded up is three. Uh, oh, already a six. So I beat it anyway with a nine. So this this dolphin trainer six. Uh, unaffiliated mercenary or rebellious civilian. They attack the next hostile lead or target you encounter before you can react. They have plus one heart. If they win, lose one notoriety and their debt is repaid. If they lose and die or get captured, gain one motivation. Oh, really? Okay. So, uh, the the trader... Actually, alright. What was that? That was the first... That was the second roll. So, the, the, the trader has, has offered... Knows where Duncan is. Uh, and Duncan cheated him out of... Uh, so this is Dolphin Trader. What time is oh yeah, we might be able to get this in. The Dolphin Trader, uh, Duncan che cheated the Dolphin Trader out of some money, and and, and this trader is is furious and insists on coming with us uh, to hunt to hunt him down. Uh, if they win. Minus one notoriety if they die plus one motivation. So this says they will attack the next hostile lead or target we encounter before we get a chance to react. They have plus one if they win. Okay. Well, they're not going to win against Duncan, but you never know. And then we could step in afterwards. So they're going to follow us as we do our last explore. 
and then like it or not we're going to go f find Duncan we're going to identify where Duncan is and we're going to attempt to ambush Duncan to the best of our ability and I don't know how I'll do <laughs> I don't know how I'll work out if we successfully ambush Duncan or not all right exploration table one there's no sign of your target but something interrupts your hunt roll once an ex exploration table event table uh, two and four two and four a speeding vehicle appears out of nowhere and two hostiles who work for a powerful crime boss leap out to confront you they're bisnicks a pig like species what criminal activity does a boss they're masked humans what do their masks look okay well let's see oh man that means the dolphin trader is going to do that and not help me six masked humans they are plus one uh, attack plus one heart how many did it say two there's two of them okay so our our dolphin trader pushes us aside and dives in even before we try and evade these people or talk to them or anything uh, Speeding views present and two hostiles will work for power crime and blow out to confront you. So we want to, we want to, I was going to threaten them, but I don't even get a chance to do that. The dolphin tribe goes in and just lays into the first one. Uh, they're both plus one. Dolphin, tra <laughs> dolphin trader, dolphin trader gets stabbed up. Uh, we lose one notoriety. Dolphin Trader gets stabbed up in his left on the side of the road as they turn uh, to confront me. Uh, the first one steps in as the other one is searching the body of the Dolphin Trader. That works better. I have plus four as I come cleaving down with my power hammer. Uh, these is so my arm and my bobs don't help me. Uh, I get a six plus four. He's plus one. So he gets a six. So, oh god, don't say these two people are going to... So I lose my heart. Uh, then the other one comes in. Oh no! Okay. I am going... Oh man, that's... So if I use my last motivation, that means I can re-roll one dice. That means if I re-roll the purple... Oh, the re-roll the purple dice... So they at the moment have seven and I have five. If I re-roll the purple dice, it is possible to beat their seven. So I'll use my last motivation uh, to re-roll the purple one. Six. So I beat them. So one of them loses a heart. So I'll put a heart next to both of these. One is lost. Uh and so that same one uh, is staggering as the other one will attack me. I have no armor and I have no motivation. Uh, I get an eight, he gets a four, so I smash uh, his helmet off of his head. Uh, and there's one, the first one who is staggering uh, is, is, has dropped to one knee and he's taking a breather as the first one pulls out a vibro sword and attempts to, to attack me with a vibro sword. Still a plus one. Uh, he gets a three, I get a seven. Uh, I smash the power hammer down upon the elbow of the, the power sword in his hand. There's a, a sickening uh, crunk. The, the power sword goes limp and he uh, falls to his uh, falls to his knees. Uh, clutching at his arm and screaming as the other one uh, he's angry and comes charging at me trying to catch me uh, I shouldn't have said that because this is going to catch me unawares now isn't it uh, no he doesn't uh, attempting to catch me unawares but uh, to lose too fast and catches him under his uh, his chest uh, and flips him off the balcony and in the sea uh, uh, devours him off the edge of the barge crawler which then slowly moves on uh, leaving this this person in the sea all right that was that was the end of my time exploring i can confront duncan but i confront duncan with no motivation 
and it's just going to be me versus Duncan. I think we're going to just I think yeah we're going to do that in the closing bits of this we will confront Duncan. Uh, tired, battered, the end of the day, covered with a slight sheen of rust from the uh, trawler and from the different places that Tulu has spent the day. Tulu has been told that in this tiny little uh, bar, uh, it's an illegal bar, which is basically that the actual bar is made of cardboard boxes stacked up and uh, everything is sold uh, out of uh, special cans where you pull and the lid comes off. So it's, it's basically, it's one of those one of those little back street bars which only sells cans. Uh, and as Tulu walks in, uh, they can see clearly that the only human uh, sitting feet up on bar, feet up on the bar, cobble box, uh, with new shiny spurs that they're sort of spinning, making that tinkling noise, uh, absentmindedly supping from a can, uh, is Duncan. Uh, Tulu tries as quietly as they can, which isn't very quietly, to get up to Duncan uh, and to get into Duncan at uh, melee distance. Uh, let's do a favour roll. Uh, so I'll do half favour, which is plus three, and we'll say Duncan has a plus one because he's paid people here. So I'm not going to give Duncan a zero on the challenge dice. If I succeed, I get straight into Duncan and Duncan has to go straight into melee with me. If I fail, then uh, Duncan is going to be able to get a shot off on me, uh, which might just strip me of that heart because Duncan's uh, range is much better than mine is. So, purples. I get a, I get a nine, uh, Duncan gets a four. I sneak up to Duncan. People see me sneaking up, but they they don't acknowledge anything and they don't warn Duncan that I'm coming. So I surprise Duncan by a power hammer coming smashing down on Duncan and Duncan rolls to try and respond to that. So Duncan has, I wrote this down, didn't I, last session, the other week. Uh, Duncan has a stun baton, which is plus two for the first round and plus one thereafter. Duncan also has, and I remembered this, he has one heart like me. So I have one heart, he has one heart as armour. Uh, human, Duncan Lafoe, he's the cocky scoundrel. Uh, okay, so power hammer to Duncan, hopefully. Duncan gets a plus two, so light lightning from underneath. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's say he's changed. He, I said duster, I think, last time. I remember using the word duster. Now, now I'm imagining a poncho. I'm imagining he was sitting there, like basically just, just <laughs> soothing. <laughs> I swear words that I probably shouldn't use on on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> it's just exuding that, like, oh god. Uh, Tolo really wants to hit him with this hammer. Uh, oh no, Tolo might not get to. So Tolo rolls a four. Five, six, seven. Oh man. Uh, and Duncan gets an eight. And I don't have a motivation to reroll. Uh, but I do have, because this is, I do, okay, I do have this. So uh, I forgot about this. So Duncan jams uh, 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 his uh, stun baton up, blocking the hammer and turning and striking. Uh, uh, to lose chest place with the scale of Bob the fish that Tulu completely forgot about but there's a, a cracking sound uh, and the, the, the scale is split in half and one half falls to the floor enraging Tulu uh, but luckily uh, saving Tulu oh that's gone so Tulu will retaliate with the power hammer attempting to uh, st knock this hat and this cocky smile off of Duncan's face. Oh yes, nicely, nicely. So for that, Duncan only gets a plus one uh, and Tulu gets nine. Uh, so 
The hat is ripped off of Duncan's head. Uh, the uh, poncho gets split. The hat falls to the floor. And Tulu makes sure to manoeuvre over and pound their big, massive, hefty hobnail boots right into the hat, tearing it into shreds. Duncan, you shouldn't ever have mocked me. You shouldn't ever have come to this place. You know this contract's mine. Uh, so with that, they circle each other again. Uh, and Duncan bounds in with the baton, attempting to strike. He, but Duncan doesn't have a chance against his power hammer. He really doesn't. A 10 versus a 4. As Duncan comes in, uh, Tulu cracks down upon uh, uh, his shoulder, dislocating it. I've said crack every single time, so it doesn't make that sort of noise. It makes a sort of noise uh, as it comes out. Duncan screeches. Uh, Tulu uh, swings and knocks Duncan's uh, uh, upper jaw as Duncan flips and lands, cracking his head against the bar. Now, what does Tulu do? Because there's a thing, isn't there, for, for the combat, which I don't think it did last time. But I get stuff. Get stuff, innit? It? it gets stuff. Success against a hostile or lead. Choose your opponent's fate. If I spare them, I get one favour. Or I can kill him and get one. Well, I don't think I like Duncan very much. So I think even though getting one favour might be useful, uh, I think Tulu is going to uh, drag Duncan out of the bar uh, whilst first fishing into uh, his uh, jeans, pulling out his wallet uh, or his cred chip, uh, and then flipping the cred chip to the bar uh, and say... Next round for everyone is on him. Uh, and then by the boots, dragging uh, Duncan out onto the uh, uh, edge of the deck. Uh, going to search Duncan for any clues. Uh, and is, there's going to be some information on the target. So uh, Duncan's, Duncan's uh, uh, digipad. Digipad on the target, uh, which, which is Fez. And then uh, Tulu says, thanks Duncan. Say hello to the fishies for me. And flips Duncan off the edge of the Kamano barge crawler. Uh, where I am in, uh, Tulu will go back to the bar uh, and order a drink. So we are two leads down. Next is target. So we will need to again do some exploring uh, to build up resources. Wow. Well, it does say one to two hours. What episode is this? Is this, I think this might be the third or the fourth one with Tulu. Okay. We'll see what happens next time. For now, after a few cans, Tulu is going to call the day over and today's job is done.